JKB back with another episode. Today on the show, I'm reviewing Speed Limit. Thank you to the dev for sending over the review copy. Speed Limit is an action shooter game, which I wasn't expecting. If you're a speedrunner, this game is for you. This has to be one of the most challenging games I've played on the show for quite some time. In terms of gameplay, this game mashes together a whole slew of different gameplay mechanics. At the beginning of the game, you'll find yourself in a side-scrolling shooter platformer where you have to avoid the police on a subway train. And then at the end of the level, you'll realize, nope, we're going into an overhead side-scrolling shooter in a car. And now you're avoiding people on bikes and trucks. And you're wondering, what is this game? It's actually becoming pretty addictive. And at the end of this level, you realize, wait a second, now I'm on a bike? And at the end of that level, you're in a plane? And at the end of that level, you're literally in the movie Top Gun. And this is one of those games that I find to be impressive in its design and simplistic in its gameplay mechanics. The one thing I should mention is that you will die a lot. This is a game about learning a pattern and overcoming that challenge the second time around, or maybe the 15th time around. I think the speedrunning community will be in love with this game. You play a fugitive who is evading the law. It's as simple as that, and you have the option to shoot at your enemies or evade them, and in some cases you have to shoot back, in some cases you have to put the pedal to the metal to evade oncoming attacks. In terms of the graphics, the game started out with an amazing pixel design, and I love the gore when you shoot some of the police enemies at the beginning of the game, but as the game goes on, you realize that this team who built this game understands past arcade games from the 80s and they've introduced different gameplay elements from those games from the 80s into this game as you progress through the levels. At one point I was on a bike and it reminded me of playing Hang On from the Sega Master System and I was having an absolute blast and then at another point I was playing Afterburner from the Sega Master System and I was having an absolute blast except the difference was <laughs> the camera was in front of the plane not behind it and it changed up that idea just enough to be a blast. I was having an amazing time with this game, even though I should also point out it's extremely frustrating. But it's frustrating in one of those, well, it's not the game's fault, it's your fault for not being good at the game. I also did notice the music was a big part of why I was feeling the adrenaline as I was going through this game, and that was a huge bonus. Overall, I'm going to give Speed Limit an 8 out of 10, highly recommended for the speedrun community out there. This is one of those games where the developers yet again understood what they were designing, and they did it in a special way, and it really pays off. So if you're into those, <laughs> let's almost break my controller type of games, you're going to have a blast with this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of JKB.